are these people? You're one of the only people I've read that have actually experienced what it's like inside Kamath tunnels, quote unquote, right? <laughs> so uh, what are those like? What's it like to build them? What's it like? And please push back on any Israeli propaganda you, you want to in that because there's plenty of it when in regards to the tunnels. So, yeah. Like, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I guess I'll... I guess I'll preface it by saying I saw today, I don't know if the article is published on Press TV today, but I saw it uh, today, and it was talking about two different Israelis that had been held by Hamas, um, and so they were talking about the tunnels and the depth of the tunnels, and so what I will say is I didn't see those tunnels, because they're talking about tunnels that were several hundred meters deep, and I, I didn't go that deep. I went into two different tunnels uh, once, the first time, I think, it, yeah, first time it was... Uh, journalistically to see, you know, what the tunnel workers, what conditions they're in, you know, because they are the poorest of the poor. They're working a hard, difficult, dangerous job because, you know, the economy is screwed. So that tunnel, now how deep it was, I'm terrible at estimating space, but I was lowered down in a winch, um, in a, um, like a harness in a winch. Right, right. They lowered me down. Uh, not super deep, maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 meters deep. I might be wrong about that, but it, it took a little bit to get down. And I spent about an hour or so down there talking with the tunnel workers. And so in that tunnel, well, actually in both the tunnels I saw, the second was one I actually walked um, down into from Egypt into Gaza. And so it, was, it wasn't it was a deep drop. It was more like a, a narrow or shallow kind of um, descent. And it wasn't as low as the one I had gone to. Um, but that first one, um, well, in both cases, basically what I saw, they were very narrow, the ones I was in. I know there are big ones, big enough, you know, for cars, et cetera. I didn't see those. The ones I saw, they were very narrow and, uh, I was warned to duck because there was, um, wiring for the lighting, whatever other electrical right. purposes. And it was, it, it was a thing that people could be electrocuted and had been electrocuted, so there was that. Um, it was, it was very uh, claustrophobic feeling because at the same time, there was the concern that Israel, because Israel would randomly bomb the tunnels, right? Because they wanted to um, uh, eradicate them. So there was, there was the concern that, you know, you could be in the tunnel, it could be bombed. But I mean, when I went into the first tunnel, I forget what year it was, if it was 2009 or 10. And by that point, you know, we'd already gone through the 2008-9 uh, Israeli war in Gaza. And by that point, you know, any fear was pretty much gone because when you're you're faced with F-16s, Apaches, drones, warship, tank, every other kind of shelling and sniping, um, and you come out of that, then you kind of develop a, a sense, not of fearlessness, but just like you've just been through the worst. So being in a tunnel that could be bombed is kind of lower down on the fear scale. Right. But um, but for the people but for the Palestinians that work in them, I really, I felt for them because I, I don't know how much they were earning. I don't remember. I don't think it was very much. And it was very hot, even though it was down quite a ways. It was very hot, claustrophobic work. And they always face the risk of Israel bombing them or them being electrocuted. But in terms of what I saw coming through, I don't remember all of the things, but I remember vegetables like tomatoes and I don't know what else, other vegetables coming through. I remember the Maybe it was both of them. Um, I think in both of them, I also saw just normal civilians going through because that was the only way they could get in and out of um, uh, Gaza. But right. then I don't know how they managed in Egypt because if they were stopped, and unfortunately, you know, this is not against the Egyptian people because they're, they're good Egyptian people that are in solidarity with Palestinians, but the Egyptian government uh, and, and our army are, were very cruel to Palestinians. So I don't know how people who got out through the tunnels for example, in uh, mid-2010, I, I left Gaza through the Rafah crossing uh, with a Palestinian, and I had my American passport. I think my Canadian was expired. He had a Palestinian, Huia. Um, maybe he had, a, I guess he had a passport by that point because he was traveling. And he couldn't just walk freely into Egypt. We were put on a bus that was militarily escorted to Cairo airport. Then all, everybody on the bus was taken to a hallway not not in your normal like airport scene, but some quiet hallway where they weren't given food or water or anything. I was able to exit because of my American passport. So I went out and got food and came back in, brought it in for people, but they weren't able to. And then we were taken down to a very small storage room 
in, underground and held there. And some people have been there for uh, several days, some people for a week. And they were basically all the undesirables, not only Palestinians, but people from North Africa as well. Uh, it was, a, it was, I mean, okay, I don't, how long were we there for? Half a day, maybe? Uh, for me, I knew we would get out. But, you know, I can't imagine how horrific it felt for the people that they had legitimate travel plans. They had plane tickets, but they were being held down there by the Egyptian government uh, because they were undesirables. And, you know, it was a filthy room, filthy. There's a washroom, but it was filthy. And, you know, these are people who are devout Muslims and would like to wash and, and clean themselves before prayer. Like, well, anybody wants to clean themselves, but it's very important to them. So, I mean, that's an aside, but that's just to say, like, um, that the Palestinian, the treatment Palestinians, particularly from Gaza, get 